Hi everybody! Hello! How are you guys doing? Welcome to the June edition of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. Today, Soraya and I, and actually Ashley! <laughs> Say hi, Ashley! Hello! Surprise. Ashley's over here doing ink samples. Told you I'd be back, <laughs> secretly. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's just gonna be um, in the corner over here while we do Catching Up. Um, chill in, make an ink samples for you guys. So, yeah. yeah. If, you, if you hear some some ink some and glass, some glass <laughs> clanging, that's what's going on. Yeah. All right. Ashley. Yes. Bye, Ashley. Bye, -bye. Yes. See ya. So, so Soraya and I and Ashley are here today to catch you guys up with what Yoseka has been up to all May and the first week of June. We've had some like major events going on here. Um, May was very eventful. So first, the major thing that we did, I guess, was get ready for the store reopening. But before we go into that, as always, Yoseka always adds a lot of new stationery. Um, our team like is constantly working to add new stationery and new products to the website. And some of our favorite things that we added this past month in May are, for me, these Pentel Energel Infree pens. These are some of like my favorite note writing pens. They're really, really fast drying. For anybody who hasn't tried P Pentel Energel, like in general, Pentel Energel is very fast drying ink and just like very reliable, smooth, consistent ink flow that I really, really like when I'm writing notes. And then recently they actually released like this whole new set of colors so they have the burgundy color now, and they have, they've always had like turquoise green and blue, but they added new colors like gray, which is my personal favorite. So definitely for anybody who hasn't tried Pentel Energel, these are, these are a good deal. They're like, they're, they're less than $5 and they're refillable, which is my favorite part. They are refillable in like all their different colors, the gray, the purple, the turquoise green, the burgundy, the orange. So you can get them in all the colors and refill with your favorite colors going forward. They're, very, they're very juicy. Yeah, they're very juicy. I was about juicy. to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a gel pen girl. I love gel pens. I love gel pens, so I love these too. Yeah. And another thing that we added uh, were Stology Memo Pad slash Dicky Notes. Uh, which is so cool because mm. I love Stology notebooks. That concept sort of transferred over in a sense to their sticky notes. And there's three types of sticky notes. Uh, we have plain, lined, and grid. And what's super cool is that the sticky notes are as organized and well thought out as their notebooks are, which I always love. Um, just they have very good design concepts. Sticky notes are perforated at the top, mm -hmm. so you always get that clean, nice line. I actually like writing on these with the Energel, so it's a good combo that we've chosen. Mm. And yeah, you, you just write little notes and then you can either choose to rip them out like this and it's like so clean. It's like ASMR. That was very satisfying to see right? you do that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope you were able to hear that a little bit. Um, but they rip out really clean and I, and I just love them. I, I, I love that you can have lined and grid and plain sticky notes. They're just very perfectly sized. And then they also have this cool little cap or not cap, cover that you can yeah. protect them with. So that is my favorite stationary edition of the month. Yeah, I guess that makes them really good to like throw into your bag without yes. the pages getting all like uh, bent in right. your backpack, which happens to me all the time, and it, it just like kills me inside. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Oh, and also another thing I like to point out is that unlike other sticky notes, mm -hmm. when you rip them out, they actually don't like flip back up. Like you know other sticky notes when you yes. tear them out, it's like they're like eh, on they're things. They're curled. Yes, yes, yeah. curled. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is these stay pretty nice and flat. So. Yeah, I don't know how they did that. I feel like it was like a very good detail. Very well thought out. Yeah. Yes. We do get questions about those. People ask us all the time if they're fountain pen friendly. Um, in our experience, Dology paper is better with finer pens. Wouldn't mm -hmm. you say, Sarah? I agree. Yeah. So if you like to use like broad or medium nibs maybe you wouldn't be using your fountain pen on these sticky notes yes. but if you like extra fine and fine you can go right ahead just like with just like with the Celgy editor series notebooks mm -hmm. they're they're better with the finer fountain pens okay so what else what else has been Yoseka been up to uh well we took our very fun uh little break yeah 
I don't even remember when that was. When was it? It seems like it was ages ago it's been a because blur. so much has happened <laughs> yeah. that it was just last week, I think. Was it really? Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh. So, yes. Okay, well that Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I I uh, took a little bit of a um, staycation. Mm. Which is always kind of fun because I, I always I always feel like when you go on vacation sometimes you have the um, the idea that you have to do a lot of things in a very short amount of time, but yeah. sometimes it's, it's almost more stressful. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Like we have like an itinerary on your day yeah, off, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I, I, I just took those, those those couple of days just to have a little bit of a staycation, catch up on my life, catch up on my stuff, and that was nice to have some sort of downtime in in my my happy space. That what sounds you amazing. And you'll do. So Neil and I, um, for for ages, for some reason, we've had this like romantic notion of like going all the way out east to the the end of New York, <laughs> as as they like to call it, which is this place called Montauk, which is like very very like the furthest east out you can go in in New York. Um, and we've been talking about it for ages. Like literally, I don't know what it is. We may have seen a movie or something. Um, so we've just always wanted to go and we love beaches and we really love like just going into the water and just chilling out there. Um, so we finally had a chance to take a few days and go to Montauk. It was really, really nice. It was, it was really cold. Like it was, 80 degree weather here in New York City, but mm -hmm. out east in Long Island, I would say it was like 10 to 15 degrees colder out there. So we didn't get a chance to go into the water or anything like that. It was quite freezing, <laughs> but um, it was a lot of fun. And then the Hamptons are around there as well. And um, I don't know if anybody knows this about me, but I'm a huge Ina Garden fan. Um, I oh, love specifically. I love her oh, so wow. much. That's like nice. she, I um, when I was first getting into cooking, when Neil and I like moved in together, and I had my own kitchen for like the first time in my life, I would just watch Barefoot Contessa like like before bed. Like it was just oh, like a, an obsession. <laughs> I would watch Barefoot Contessa so cute. all day long. Ina wow. Garden, please. Shout out. <laughs> If you're watching, um, so you know she she's she lives in the Hamptons and she, throughout her show, has like recommended all these like different um, grocers and farmers markets and farms um, that she frequents out there. And so Neil and I, when we were driving by, it wasn't part of the plan, but we would see things that like I I realized that I remember Ina Garden has mentioned, and I would freak out. Um, God, that's so cute. Yeah, and so we we went to like her um, a restaurant that she recommended, and it was really good. We also we also drove around her neighborhood hoping to see her. <laughs> I was like, should, should I say wow. this? But it was coming out of my mouth before I could stop myself. <laughs> um, I never got a watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Oh, super fan. Yeah. So That's so great. that was kind of like the highlight. The highlight of my trip was so um, going on a little Ina Garden tour yeah. of of Long Island. I'm sure that that made up for the cold. The cold yes. Weather. Yeah, it did. I didn't feel the cold at all when I was when I felt <laughs> near to Ina so Garden. Warm. <laughs> oh my god. That's cute. Please don't be creeped out. <laughs> Yeah. That's fun though. So that was that was a really good it was a really, really good break. It was like three three days that Neil and I spent out there. Um, and then we got back to the store and all of us kind of regrouped ourselves mm -hmm. and got ready to get the store ready to open. Yes. Yeah. It's been a good time. It has been. What else is new this month? Um our Yoseka notebooks. Some for, for those of you who have been longtime fans of Yoseka notebooks, they are Sadly, uh, we received our final shipment of them, so they are no longer going to be available going forward on the website, but we did save a few. We reserved a few copies for in-store. So for anybody who's planning a visit, if you have never gotten to try the Yoseka Notebook and would like to try it, you can ask us and we will definitely um, supply you with one as long as as long as we still have them. I think we still have maybe like 10 or 15 mm -hmm. available in the store So that's that's the Yoseka notebook our our first baby of yeah. Yoseka <laughs> What else? Oh, so we have Someone new here. Oh my god. Yes, and we love her we very love much her. Uh, her name is Jane Jane and she's awesome uh, she's very, very personable. She's also an artist. She loves to paint. Yeah. Um, she watercolors and she's a squash. Gouache. Is that how you say no. it? Gouache? 
gouache. Gouache. Ashley's saying yes. Oh, I'm not right, guys. <laughs> gouache. Gouache. What did I say? Gouache. Okay, sorry. It's gouache. a lot of vowels very close <laughs> together, so I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so Jane will come over here one day and, and let you know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Yeah, you guys will meet her soon. Yes. Jane is really, really sweet. It's been about two weeks, two to three weeks since she's been in the store. Um, she's and up she's fast. so oh my speedy. God. She's she's a sharp girl. Sharp. <laughs> um, so we love Jane, and we did a little intro post on her yesterday on Instagram for anyone who missed it. And if you'd like to see her face so that you can recognize her when you come to the store and say hi, you can check that post out. Yes. Yeah. All of this leading up to. Oh. Yes. Our big store June reopening first. Yeah, second June second. <laughs> it, it, it would have made a lot of sense. It was yeah. June first, but our hours are Wednesday to Sunday, and June first was yeah. a Tuesday. So we opened on June second, the the big date of June second. That date's been in my head for like two months. Yeah, <laughs> June second. Yeah, like, we've been looking forward yeah. to June second. It was really really fun to have everybody back in the store again. I mean, I felt. I just, I love being in the store when it's open and the energy of the store and like having visitors and people who have been planning their visits or just like, just, just being able to show somebody something that they've been waiting to see yeah. for a long time is a really special feeling mm -hmm. for me. It's been, it's been an amazing experience these past three days and this is going to be our first weekend open. Yes. So i um, really looking forward today and it's hot. It is nine, almost <laughs> 91 degrees. I know. We're like sweating. We had to turn the fans off to do this video. <laughs> it's so hot. It's so hot. Yeah. Um, but um, it's going to be a beautiful summery day. Really mm -hmm. looking forward to seeing everybody in the store. We've talked a lot about like getting the store ready for, for the reopening and a lot of that maybe like you know, the the store visually kind of looks the same to, to anybody who visited us back in October when we were open for a few months and now that we're open again. But we made a lot of changes to like the process of how we're doing things behind the scenes. Um, and part of that is, you know, we are, like I said before, we're constantly adding like new products all the time just like adding things for you guys to try. And a big part of our store experience is testing everything out. For for us, that's that's like everything to Yoseka. That means that you guys can come in and just like, you know, feel um, your pen on all the different kinds of papers. You can bring your own pen in to just to test on a paper and you can and vice versa if you want to bring your paper in to test um, you know, a pen on, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. So like testing is a big part of how we see ourselves here at Yoseka. Yeah. And a big problem that we were facing when we were thinking about how we would reopen is how we would make everything available as a tester in the store, how we would make room for that and make sure also to also have like enough space for everything and to make sure like we weren't accidentally sending somebody home with a tester for example so we figured out a way to do all that so now that you come into the store everything that you see is pretty much available for testing the inks weren't available for testing before and now we have this like swash yeah oh my gosh swash swash, swash swish. Gouch, <laughs> swash <laughs> um, yeah the, the the ink the ink wait what do you, what do you say swash swatch swatch yeah. <laughs> okay. The ink swatching is super cool uh, because you know we we have our ink guides um, and some of them are actually posted on the wall yeah. of the ink section. But sometimes testing out a color yourself and seeing it transfer onto the paper in real time really sometimes makes it super special and sort of seals the deal of why you might love a color. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you, if you come and, and and you see an ink that you've always wanted to try or you see a color that you want to try today for the first time, for example, you can ask one of us and we'll help you swatch it. That's right. Yeah. So you can see it. Super exciting. Um, and the same goes for all the pens. You know, they've always been available for testing. They still are. Um, all of our notebooks are, all of our papers are available for testing as well now. So, and we have like a little stamp testing station too oh, yes. in the corner over there. So, yeah. Everything is just a very interactive experience here at Yosaka and that's the way Neil and I really wanted it to be. So I think that's everything for this catching up. Um, we did a lot. It's been a busy month. It's been a busy month. Yeah. And it's only been five days of the month. It's a, it's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching thank and you. we'll see you again for catching up July and I'll be very pregnant then. Yes. <laughs> thank and you. Hope to see you in person too. Oh yes. Come on down. <laughs>
Thank you. Bye, Bye guys.